Hey everybody, Dan here. I'm here inside of On One Photo Raw 2026, and it looks a lot like Photo Raw 2025. And I'm working today on my laptop on purpose so that I have a smaller screen. And if you look over here on the right hand side, by the time I've got my histogram open and my masking and my layers, it takes up quite a bit of space on the right hand side. By the time I get down to develop, there's not a lot of room for making adjustments. So it gets even worse when I have a lot of effects or uh, layers in local adjustments. So one of the things we've done is we've made it so you could take the masking section and the layer section and float those as their own palettes or move them to the left side. Let me show you. So go up to your window menu and then go to layers or properties and you can select where they live. So if I wanted to float my layers pane, I would just unselect nest right. And voila, now Layers is its own floating dialog, which I can position wherever I want. And if I'm in a multi-screen environment, I can put it over on another screen if I want to as well. This is great if I'm working with a lot of different layers. But what I do, especially when I'm working on a laptop, is I like to move it to the left-hand side over to where the presets live. I don't use presets as much, so the presets takes up a whole lot of space on the left-hand side, the whole left side. So what I do is I go over here to the Windows menu and I select layers and I say nest on the left hand side. So now my layers lives over here and I do the same thing with my masking as well. Just go to the properties section and say nest on the left hand side. Voila. Now look, I've got a lot more space on the right for my controls and I have more space on the left for the masking and layers. One thing you might have noticed is my preset browser might look a little bit different than you. Here's a best kept secret. You can set the preset browser to a list view rather than a thumbnail view as well. And you can find that under the view menu, go to preset browser, and you can change between thumbnail view and list view based on your choice. There you go. We're always working on new ways to make you more effective and use your screen size as best you can. There you go. Thanks for watching.